Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Jim Mickle, Bev Schwartz, and Jim <laughs> We too, that's out now on Netflix. Thank you all for your time. Well, thank you. Thanks, yeah. Thanks for the energy. We need it. Yeah. <laughs> Better than coffee. <laughs> I mean, Beth, you know, it's out now. People could stream it um, already number one globally around the world. I mean, what's going through your mind these days? It's crazy. Honestly, I have no, <laughs> no idea. It's, it's not, we did not expect this kind of um, love. And, and I mean, we had hoped for it, but I, I don't think any of us thought the show would be as big as as it as it is now and it's incredible absolutely jim there's a lot going on a lot of character relationships a lot of dynamics my favorite is the relationship between jeopard and gus do you is it safe to say that's one thing that you really enjoy about the show as well yeah that's the core of the whole story you know that was the core of the comic book and that was the core relationship for the whole show everything spins out of that so um yeah i love i love the way it translated Absolutely. And Jeff, you know, this is your graphic novel coming to life. What's this whole journey been for you? Like, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I did the, the book a decade ago and you, when you're drawing it each day, you never imagine that something like this would happen. And, you know, the, the chances of a film or a television show ever getting made are so slim to begin with, let alone that it's actually good. And then people respond to it. It's, <laughs> like, it's, a, it's such a rarity. And I, I kind of feel lucky that I, yeah, it's kind of hit, hit on all cylinders. So it's, it's super exciting. Absolutely. Beth, I want to, I'm going to ask all three of these questions. We'll start with Beth. I mean, what are the takeaways like when people watch the show? What are you hoping they get out of it specifically, Beth? Um, I'm hoping they get a nice uh, escapism from the world and the trauma that we've lived in through this past year. Um, and to see uh, something that's, you know, slightly similar um, in the show, but it has a more hopeful outcome with um, cute, adorable hybrid babies. Absolutely. <laughs> and Jim, you know, escapism, anything else specifically that you're hoping they get out of it? A lot of relationships, a lot of friendships there as well. Yeah, I think um, that idea of people coming together in the worst times, you know, um, uh, which, you know, we saw last year, we didn't always do as, as, a, as a world, um, <laughs> as a nation. Um, but I think also a little bit of that back to basics thing. I always like the idea that Gus, I think, had a had a very um, um, core sort of natural upbringing. Um, and I think uh, that obviously serves him well as he heads out into the world. Absolutely. Jeff, you know, it's crazy. You know, you write these graphic novels. They're out there. It becomes adapted to a show on Netflix. When that kind of idea comes to be that there's going to be an adaptation, what's going through your mind? Um, yeah, it's, well, I mean, I've done a lot of comics and there've been lots of talk about different films or TV shows over the years and none of it ever happens. So <laughs> you kind of are skeptical that it will really actually come to fruit, you know, but, uh, yeah. So, I mean, you kind of approach it just one step at a time. And the first conversations I had with Jim were so positive and I, it was just great to have someone on board adapting it who really understood the source material and wanted to to honor it with the trans with the adaptation so i mean I, I was just really lucky that the right people found this book and and brought it to life absolutely and very cool before we wrap up bev we'll start with you what's your go-to snack your go-to sweet tooth snack oh ice cream ice cream jim what about you <laughs> ice cream jeff we're going over three for three of ice cream or something else what? Ironically, I have no sweet tooth. I, I'm, I'm more of a salty wow. girl, so I, Yeah, I don't, I don't really like <laughs> desserts or anything like that. I don't <laughs> well, Jim, Beth, Jeff, thank you very much. Congratulations. It's amazing. And uh, it's available to watch now, streaming uh, on Netflix, Sweet Tooth. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.